Well, I tell you, the, the, the day I kind of broke free of my, um, I was raised in a very conservative way. And I think the day I kind of told my parents that I was going to act um, was a really momentous thing, you know, because my father turned around and said, what? And how are you going to do that? And how are you going to make a living? And how are you going to take care of somebody? And suddenly these questions came flying at me because it wasn't what a man in our that I grew up in a very blue collar background and and I'd gone to college and, for, and in his mind I was throwing everything away uh, and so to actually say to him to actually break feet free of that sphere I know a lot of younger people rebel a lot earlier in life I guess I was never that I wasn't that rebellious kind of kid but there was a moment in time where I knew exactly who I wanted to be and I needed to explain that to my parents so I know maybe that's not the kind of story you're looking for, but that was a huge moment in my life where I kind of declared who I was. Hi, Stuart from Rick D's Entertainment. So I have to ask, you made a comment about the Olympics, and I wanted to know if you could talk a little bit more about that. And if you were to compete in a sport, what would it be then? Well, a lot of things come flooding into your mind when you have 40 seconds and what to say and who to say it to and yet you've got this weight in your hand and at one point I just started looking down at it and I couldn't help but think of some of those Olympic when I was watching the London Olympics that there were some sports that looked kind of like this with people that didn't seem quite like sports to me and so you know you take this very big moment in your life and I, I flash to the Olympics and what this looks like but I, I did uh, try in a very quick manner to talk about the people who uh, had believed in this project from the beginning. Uh, Nancy Dubuque specifically in, in kind of breaking with conventional wisdom and allowing us to go three. It's no small thing. You know, we have a tendency to not put the risk in reverse. We see this as a big win and we congratulate them and, and we say we knew this would work or whatever. But if you go back a year from now, a year ago, the risk was really great. Uh, careers can be on the line. Um, Nancy's could. And now Nancy tastes the fruits of victory. But she had this kind of creative courage to to say yes. And, you know, it's, it's all that those inner workings before you get to a night like tonight where people put it out, put it out there. And, of course, Leslie, almost 30 years of, of peddling his little story only to see, find himself on the red carpet. So, um, there's a lot of good stories in a story, and that's one of them. Kevin, how do you think, um, Kevin, how do you think that being in Hatfields with this thing such a big success, you know, what is this going to do for your career going forward? Are you going to look for more television? Well, I, I have been writing uh, a lot of things. You know, the last five years, I haven't worked very much. I've uh, had three babies with my wife, so I have a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and a two, and so I haven't really worked probably a fraction of what my counterparts have worked during that time, but um, I really enjoyed what I've been doing and all that time I have been writing, uh, looking to direct, uh, and, and interesting enough, writing some television. Also, just because that's just the way the stories were, 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 were playing out. And uh, um, In fact, my children, um, I'm not certain that they know I'm an actor. Um, my my uh, five-year-old, my three-year-old think that I'm in construction because of um, you know, the building of the homes we're doing right now, and I spend most of my time there. So, how it impacts? There's a, you know, Hollywood works off perception, and so I know, I know what success means to people who deal with. Perception.